A plane grounded because of severe turbulence and a number of medical emergencies. Imagine thinking you're about to crash. That was the reality for passengers on a Frontier flight from Las Vegas to Cleveland overnight last night. We spoke with a local woman who was on the flight. She says she was fearing for the worst. Things went downhill as the plane took off. A little rough. Um, the wheels got up and immediately the plane started swaying and uh, had a, I had a good view of the wing so you could kind of see, you know, it just going all over. Deborah Lowboy was headed home from a conference in Las Vegas, a routine flight, except winds were up to 60 miles per hour Sunday night around Las Vegas. At some point it did kind of feel that the plane would, was almost going to flip because we were just um, out of control. 200 passengers afraid for their lives. Kind of screaming, people reaching for their phones, thinking this might be uh, their last message sending out to their loved ones. The plane couldn't return to the Las Vegas airport because of the wind. It leveled out eventually, Lowboy says, but then there were medical emergencies. There was a pregnant woman who was six months pregnant who started bleeding pretty good. Um, not sure if the if the baby made it. Another woman was having what Lowboy believes may have been a seizure and was unconscious. Several people with their vomit bags. Uh, we were directed to Salt Lake City and from there the Salt Lake City Fire Department boarded. The two women and several others were taken to get medical help. The plane stayed grounded for a few hours. Several people refused to get back on. One man even decided to drive from Salt Lake City back to Cleveland. We got back on and, and everything was okay after that. Lowboy commends the flight attendants and the pilot for jumping into action with help. I was feeling the worst. You know, the fear that everybody has that this is it. I might not see my family again. Lowboy was on the trip with some of her friends. They were all traveling together and they asked some of the flight crew how severe the turbulence was. The flight crew said there's a number system from one to four. What she experienced was classified as a four, the very worst classification for the most severe turbulence.